morning guys welcome to a new weekly vlog today is monday uh february 13th i believe um i am just leaving the gym i came this morning um i didn't do a workout i swam a little bit and then i sat um in the hot tub mostly and did some reading um i'm very sore from the class that we did on saturday which was pretty high intensity something that i hadn't done in a long time so i'm pretty sore from that so uh yeah i came and swam a little bit but then just kind of sat in the hot tub, hot tub and relaxed and let the hot tub like soothe the sore, mu sore muscles and everything. And now I am heading home. Um, I'll do a reading update when I get home because I'm reading several different books this week. And but yeah, I just wanted to get this vlog started off. Um, this week, I don't know that there's too much going on. Um, I think I'm going to be taking Friday off because we are doing the internment for my mother-in-law the Blake Packard for her space at the cemetery is finally ready so I think we take the day off to go to that Thursday night we might come and maybe play some tennis or pickleball or something um and then um what else Saturday we have another meeting with the personal trainer and we made a reservation to come play tennis with my parents Saturday night so that should be fun I think we might go to the movies this weekend um and yeah, other than that, I don't know what else we really have going on this week, um, but I will keep you guys updated. And like I said, I will do a reading vlog or a reading update, I should say, um, as soon as I get home. So it is 3.30 on Tuesday now. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, we are not doing anything today for Valentine's Day. Um, today's actually the one year anniversary of my mother-in-law's passing. So Nick has been just kind of hanging out, doing his thing today. You know, uh, we decided we would just kind of stay home, relax, let him process and, you know, um, just relax for the day. Uh, he actually did end up going to the gym, uh, which is awesome. I think that'll help him, um, just kind of work out, work out some of those emotions and process and stuff. Um, we did have that dinner over the weekend with my parents for Thanksgiving. We don't usually do anything huge for Thanksgiving anyways. Um, uh, he, his like Thanksgiving, like gift or Thanksgiving, his, did I say Thanksgiving earlier? If I've been saying Thanksgiving this whole time, I meant Valentine's Day. Um, we don't really do anything huge for Valentine's Day usually anyways. Um, his like gift for Valentine's Day was uh, some clothes that he ordered for Hollister. And then I'm going to be ordering, I think I'm going to order Disney Dreamlight Valley, the, the game on Switch. Um, I've been wanting that for a while, so I think I'm going to get that. And yeah, we never really do anything huge. Um, so yeah, today's basically just a normal, you know, any other normal day for us. Uh, we're both, you know, working as usual, all that. Um... I worked on some cup designs earlier um, that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I don't know if I have any fellow armies who watch uh, these videos, but I have a Shine Dream Smile design so coming with these little like stars that I'm going to put on cups and mugs. And then this one I really love. Uh, it says Boraje and it has the purple hearts. I don't know if you can really see that, but yeah, they turned out super cute. So those are going to be going on cups and mugs. Those I'll probably have coming out next week. I've been trying to work on some different um, designs and stuff. I had a couple of orders that I got out this past weekend. Um, I've also finished a few books. A couple of the books I'm not going to talk about here because that's going in a separate reading vlog. But the one I can talk about is The Drowned Woods um, by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Um, I finished it today. I gave it three stars. It was good. It was a good little like standalone. I think it's going to be a standalone um, fantasy. Uh, I think I liked her previous book. 
I can't remember if it's the bone houses. I think it was the bone houses. Um, I liked her previous book more. This one had an interesting, uh, like magic system with a girl who could control, um, uh, water, um, and a man who, or a guy who was very easily like, um, pushed into like violence. Like if he, um, was even something as simple as like being bumped into this, like, anger inside him i don't know how else to like explain it. like the magic would take over and he would become this like angry about the person and kill everybody like in the vicinity um so he had to be very careful about like touching people and even like the slightest provocation could cause the magic to take over um it was kind of like gilded wolves in that it was like a heist and there were different people with like magical abilities coming together there was a thief um and it had a lot of those like found family aspects, um, but it wasn't as nearly as good as Gilded Wolves. Um, I really loved the Gilded Wolves series, uh, but it had that same kind of feel with the heist and like the magical system. And like I said, the found family. Um, um, what else? I wrote down some notes on this one. Um, there was some brief like depictions of like grief and dealing with the passing of loved ones, of, um, like, betrayal. Um, there was a few instances of betrayal, um, uh, from, like, somebody, like, close, like, within the group. Um, there was one little plot twist towards the end that, it wasn't, like, like I mean, I guess it was huge to the story, and I, but I, I didn't see it coming. Um, so that's always a good thing when I, when there's some kind of plot twist, um, that I wasn't expecting. So, um, that was pretty good. Um, I guess technically you could say there was two plot twists that I um, wasn't expecting. Um, this was just a good, easy, like I said, standalone fantasy, nothing out of this world. Um, I listened to it on audio and it was very easy to just like have on in the background. It wasn't the kind of fantasy where there's a ton of like world building and description um, to where you could miss something and then like not understand anything else going forward. Uh, it was pretty easy to have on in the background and still like follow along with the story um so yeah i liked it it was good um nothing crazy but there's nothing to like complain about either so yeah a solid three star um and that i think is about it um i am let's see what else will i i still have a couple of the audiobooks that i'm listening to um i'm still slowly working my way through Babel um and the atlas six i said those were going to be my focuses last week I think I said that um but that didn't really happen because I started reading some stuff from another blog like I said um but I am still working on those slowly but surely um and yeah I think that is about it for this update um I don't know that we have anything else big going on this weekend probably try to go to the gym again tomorrow um and what else? I think we might go play tennis on Thursday night, maybe, um, since we're both off on Friday. Um, this weekend, Ant-Man, um, Ant-Man Quantumania comes out, um, so I'm excited for that. Um, and yeah, that is about it for this update. Um, I have not been going, like, too into detail about the books that I've read. I think I might save my more, like, in-depth um thoughts or maybe just going more into detail um in like the wrap-ups um at the end of the month obviously uh but yeah that is it for now i do need to work on my knitting on my blanket because i am like five books behind i have dnf'd a few books too um i'll talk about those in the wrap-up though um and yeah that is basically it for now i hope you have a great Valentine's Day wherever you are um, and a great rest of your Tuesday um, and I will check back when I have another update. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday. February 15th now, uh, it's 
about 7.10, I think 7.15 in the morning. I am sitting here listening to some Disney Parks music and I'm about to do some reading. Um, I have a few audiobooks that I'm in the middle of that I want to focus on. I have the final gambit, um, the third book, yeah, third book in the Inheritance Games series. I think I talked about that one in last week's vlog. Um, but I'm finishing up that one. Um, I'm finishing up that one, and then I have The Lost Girl of Willowbrook, which looks pretty good, or so far is pretty good. A little predictable so far, but, um, we'll see how it goes. And, um, then I have Wicked and Wild Things, which I'm liking so far. Uh, so yeah, I want to try to focus on those three. Um, I also have a couple, or no, one more audiobook that I'm listening to for a different vlog. So I'm trying to stick with that one as well. Uh, so yeah, that is the update for this morning. Hopefully I'll get through at least one of these today. And I will check back in when I have more thoughts on them, when I've finished one of them. Uh, yeah, welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> actually Tuesday now. Um, I had filmed an outro for last week's vlog, uh, which ended on Sunday, but for some reason I lost the footage or I, maybe I forgot to hit record and I thought I did, I'm not sure. Um, but I just want to do a quick outro um, for last week's vlog. Um, I didn't get um, too many clips last week. Um, I'm currently editing that vlog and I realized that I don't have too much footage, or at least not a lot of footage of me actually like speaking to the camera. Um, a lot of it is just kind of like b-roll type stuff. Um, not a lot really happened last week. We, um, we just kind of had a normal week at home, went to the gym, that kind of stuff. Friday night we went and did, or not Friday night, Thursday night we went and played tennis. Then we had a workout early Friday morning and then Saturday we went and played tennis again with my parents. And I think working out so much in a three day span um, screwed up my back. I have had have had bad back pain and like back spasms for the last few days and so I've just been taking it slow the last couple of days and letting myself recharge and rest and let my back rest and everything. Um, so yeah, nothing too exciting happened last week but I do am really trying to get a vlog up every week. So um, still gonna, you know, edit it, get it up. Um, there are some exciting things happening. We did go talk to our realtor on Sunday, again, I thought I had taken a clip of us talking about that on the way there, but I now can't find the footage. Um, we did go talk to her. It went really well. She answered all of our questions. Um, she, you know, we talked to her about, 
Um, we talked to her about selling our house, like the timeline for that, how much we could get for our house, um, about working with a realtor in Florida, and just like our different different options as far as buying a house in Florida um, and all that. So it went really well. We have a better understanding of kind of what we need to do and where we are and what our financial kind of status is going to look like after we sell our house and everything. Um, so, and then there's other exciting stuff happening this week as well, but I will talk about that in this week's vlog. Um, so thank you for following along. I appreciate it. All of you who watch these and um, are interested in what's going on in my life. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys for being here and I hope to see you guys in the next one.